my name is Khalis Khalil Pa'a and we're here at Ala Moana Beach Park to celebrate Uncle China's like, in, like inspiring life today with all of his friends and family and this is what he did the best was bring everybody together to have a good time and I think there's no better way to send him off than to be surrounded by the people who loved him the most. Aloha! Um, we have one more guest that wants to say a few words. Um, Bonga, can you please come up? But I think this is a testament to what he did. Look at all of us right now. Um, all the love for the Uemura family, everyone. But um, when Kikola was 16, um, I talked to his mom. I talked to China. I'm okay, let me take your son to Australia. I know you got a huge friend base there, and, and they never met him. They never met Kikola. There's a little thing that I could do is just take this kid with me and, and let him just crush everybody, which he did. He went to Australia, just absolutely served his heart out and he and it showed. He won everything. He was like the people's champ of Australia at, at that point, man. It was awesome. And everybody knew his dad because another funny story, not another one, but a funny story is he was in Japan one year and um, Kiko being the champ, you know, won a bunch of events, uh, Japan Grand Champ, but they still didn't figure him out just yet. So we had a final together and he borrowed my board. But before we went out together and, and just faced off, this, um, the MC of the event came up to me and he asked me, Oh, Bonga san, I go to Hawaii many times. I do China's contest many times, but I don't know Kiko. And quick question, why do they call China? China, he's Japanese. I'm like, I don't know if I can put it, I don't know if I can, you would understand me if I told you the story with his broken, Engl broken English and my broken Japanese, but we started cracking up. And then he also called me, he also asked me like, oh, son, um, I hear you guys talking, and why do you call Kiko Taco Neck? <laughs> I might tell about a long story, but if you want it, you're gonna be on the on the. It was live, live feed, streaming, streaming around the world, and I'm like, okay, I'll give you one. So, I told Toshi, I'm like, hey Toshi, this is, it's not taco, like Japanese octopus. He's like, oh, it's like Mexican taco, and so he was all confused. He was like, Mexican taco, yeah, you don't need Egypt taco, you gotta turn your head. And that's why I call him taco man. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So, they call us up for the finals, and I get to surf against one of my good friends. He's using my board. The funniest thing throughout the whole event, every time Kid Cohen stood up and caught a wave, Oh, taco neck, and the whole beach would just light up. All these Japanese fans would just light up, and it was so funny. And I and I hope China was watching because man, I was laughing in the heat. I could barely surf. So, long story short, Kiko ended up winning on my board against me. But you know, the times like that, it, it's you know, comes back to his dad. And I, I just want to thank him for all those memories and for getting Hawaii surfing to where, where it is today, um, single-handedly. And um, we miss you, we love you, and follow everybody. Thank you so much.